Come on, bus. Hi, guys. Welcome to the channel. Bible Bullies. Stick around for a while. I've got some different stuff for you today. I did promise training, so we're going to do some of that. Let's start with how to put a lead on. So check this out, guys. If you have a, this is a training lead, okay? It just comes with a, de a ring, a loop, you know, a handle. And we found this at a show. I cannot tell you where to buy this. I found it at a show. Hold the loop in your left hand. Take the metal loop. Take the cord. Feed it through. Okay? So, now, as you see, it hangs down. Okay? And slides. Now, you take that in your hands, just like this, and hold on to this. And slide it as you're facing the dog. Buster, come here. Come here. Here, here. As you're facing him, simply slide over, pull. Now, if you can see here, if you do this, put your head down. If you do this the right way, I'm pulling tight and it is not choking him. If you put the lead on any other way, he will choke your dog. That's it. That's simple. Take the time to get to know that. It makes the dog much more comfortable. Um, you want it to come up and around and over the top. First step, keep the dog on your left side. Okay? Always. Ready, Buster? Come on, buddy. And, here, let's bring him out here. Stack him and present him. Welcome to Bibles and Bullies. This is Champion Buster. Um, I'm going to show you now that you got a chance to see on a vetted dog. Let's go get a puppy. Come on, buddy. Welcome to the channel, Bibles and Bullies, with a touch of Corgi. What's up, group? And Husky, old Mika. Uh, Mika is going to be going to the groomer this weekend. Uh, we're taking her to Michelle Green. She's an awesome groomer. She's going to do a full, uh, well, head to tail on Mika. Because she's been shedding out, and I've been brushing her and doing stuff, but... I just wanted to take her in one time, you know, she's never been pampered, so she's going to go get pampered. So I'll do a video on that for you guys, uh, show you some of it, and I have news. Where's he at? Hey, pup, where are you at, boy? That boy. We call him Pillsbury. <laughs> uh... He has his new home. That little dude is going to be going to live in Virginia. Come on, pops. Come on, babies. All right, so I told his new owner I would set up my camera today and do some leash training. So you guys stick around. I'm going to, I promise you, I'm about to get leashes out and start working with some puppies. Um, I'll work with little Mr. Pillsbury, and we'll see who after that. Okay, I'll show you guys uh, probably with one of the, you know, either Buster or Loso, so you see an actual trained dog, and I'll show you uh, at least Mr. Pillsbury, um, and maybe we'll get some of the other puppies out too. So, I'm going to set up my camera, try to get a good spot where you can see, you can hear, and I'm going to have to kind of put everybody else up because it's going to be individual attention for this kind of stuff. Uh, the last time I messed around... There are too many distractions. So we're going to eliminate distractions. And let's start training, guys. I have no puppies left. The only dog I have left, period, available right now is Lightning. Not her, but her mama, Bustello. Okay? 
You can go back a couple videos, or if you're interested in Bustello, let me know. I'll show you the video where I show her. I'm not going to put her in today's video. Um, nothing wrong with her, but we're going to focus on training. And we're going to focus on little Mr. Uh, Pillsbury. I don't know that his name is still going to be Pillsbury, but that's what it is right now. That dude's going to Virginia, though. I'm a little jealous because it's beautiful there. So I will show you guys the ride. I'm going to leave Sunday night. Uh, I'll arrive there Monday morning. So if you need transport for a dog, let me know. I do have room for one or two to ride. I'm going from Alabama to Virginia. Stay tuned, guys. All right, my beds came in from uh, far more shed, shade, top quality pet bedding. I'm not sponsored. I'm simply showing you guys uh, what, what I got for the dogs. Uh, hold on. Mm. Okay, so once you get a hole in it, it does this every time it rises like, uh, you know, dough. <laughs> I got, these are charcoal ones, so, um, let's see, well, this kind of needs one. I like this size, I'll have to, I'll measure what they are, I forgot. But I like this size because they fit perfect in one half of my kennel. And the dogs love those. They're washable. They do very well. Like I've, this is fourth or fifth time I've ordered boxes of them. Um, I'll measure the size. All right, so they're 21 by 30. Uh, I've got eight of them. And with shipping, it was like 141. So not terrible. Um, they do hold up pretty well, unless your dogs are chewers, uh, you know, but I rotate through dogs a lot of times, not always, but sometimes I'm able to give these away with puppies if I have new ones and so on. So I try to keep a rotation going of beds, but yeah, they work good. FMSPets.com. Well, I lied. I said I wasn't going to show you Boo, but there's Boo. So I got them all stacked up for now. I'm about to give all my adults the new beds. And yeah, so on the site, guys, there's different colors, different sizes. Uh, like Loso, it's a mess, but he's got a big one here. Like this is actually is a, you know, a lot bigger than the others, okay? Like it's the full kennel size. So you can order whatever sizes you want, quantities you want, and so on. That's all I'm doing for that. I am not sponsored. Tell them I sent you over. Well, Boo let me know we had a special delivery. And my cabinet came in. So, I'm gonna get that put together. And that'll be for in the dog room here. So we've got room for all the beds and junk everywhere so I can for real get organized out here. Got out of hand again. Hey guys, I just wanted to go over some uh, new items that we're going to have coming to our camp. Um, I'm just showing you examples. Our colors are going to be different. Uh, we ordered a bright purple, lime green, and silver or gray. Um, and it's going to say, uh, hopefully the stuff will say Bibles and Bullies on it for the channel. But we got this uh, seat storage container. Uh, I ordered the A-frame with tunnel. We did the picnic table and an agility center for puppies um, they have a larger version of the agility center um, but i was a little concerned about puppies falling off and so on so i went with this version instead uh, it was some smaller but overall really cool stuff and then you see how like it says dashes doodles on this one you know ours will say bibles and bullies so should be pretty cool um, there's about a three month build time before we get everything so we should get it. It should be arriving uh, probably in May. But I just wanted to give you guys a preview. Uh, go check out Puppy Scapes on Facebook. And or you can find them online as well. Hope you enjoy it. I was just kind of showing you what we were looking at. 
Uh, it is not cheap equipment, however, it looks awesome. Like they do a phenomenal job. And I was very thankful that I found the the owner. Uh, I think his name's Patrick Ford. And uh, if you guys need information on it, just drop a comment and I'll help you out there. All right, I got a puppy. Uh, let's try here. So, come on, buddy. The puppy, formerly known as Pillsbury, is now Capone. Come on, man. Hey, I don't normally use treats too much. However, he was sleeping, so I gave him two. Um, I'm just using a Pet Botanics Training Reward treat. That's it. They, I don't give them many, and I don't use these very often. Um, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna just put a few in my pocket so I can get his attention um, here and there. But I like to normally train without treats because if the dog won't perform for you without it, you know, that becomes a problem a lot of the time. So, hold on. Let me get him. Today's first time he's ever had one on. Alright, guys. This is Capone. I was calling him Pillsbury. Let me try to get where you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this is this little buddy's first time. I've got a special treat for him. And I wanted to explain something to you guys. You know, this is Bibles and Bullies. So I teach about God too. So let's talk about God for a second. Because this is training, right? Whether it be our dogs or us. Well, Moses turned a staff into a serpent, right? Well, guess what? This is my staff that I've turned into essentially a serpent. And I lead my flock this way. These are the things that I try to teach you, okay? Um, I was talking to Mr. Capone's owner, Dwight, the other, the other evening. And, you know, that was something that we discussed for a little bit. Uh, now look at this thing. He's never had a. You're you're awesome, sir. Uh, you got a good boy, man. <laughs> like he's real chill. I don't even have to stack him. He's already stacked. Here. So what I would be doing this is, I'm gonna try to walk him in a minute. But you know this kind of thing, just put your dog on the le on the leash, handle him. You know, give him rewards. Good boy. Keep him happy. He's a puppy. Um, I'm gonna get Van out in a little bit. He's been on a leash a few times. He's still, uh, so maybe a couple treats will help him today, just to help his spirit, you know, you understand? But when you, what I was telling Dwight was, when you have a pack or a flock, then you understand why, you know, God's word uses shepherds so much to teach. I've learned a lot of things since I started messing with dogs. They taught me and I, I teach them. So all I'm doing here, I'm getting this boy used to being handled, okay? This is pretty much how we would stack him in a ring. We just wanna get him ready and just kinda of keep him chill. He's only three months old. Good boy, good boy. The calmer you can be with him, the better. You want to hold him in different positions, touch everything from his bite. You know, you cannot have your puppy or dog bite a judge. That is a big no-no. If your dog's aggressive, get it out of the ring. That's not fair to the judges. They're not paid enough for your dog to bite them. So you better put hands on your dog. You can have other people come out while you have them stacked up and doing things with them and have them put hands on them. But I just keep him happy, for real, at first. He's doing awesome. Like, I'm super proud of this boy. I may have to take, like, I may have to give you your refund or your deposit back, sir. Let me see how mine do, <laughs> at least. No, I'm kidding. Um, these guys have been handled since they were two and a half weeks. And he's, the whole litter, guys, everyone that got one of these pups, they're, they are special. Like, we lost the mom. We lost Miss Doe, but we love her. 
Um, she never, I never showed her, but I believe she would have done really, really well. She's a super happy girl. So it sucks she's not here, but like I told Dwight, we're thankful we have the babies. Um, and he's, you know, he really liked their story too. So yeah, you know, we, it is what it is. Um, life throws us problems, guys. That's why I tell you, I'll show you the good, the bad, the ugly. I'm not going to show you things that are vulgar because I try to teach children. Sometimes my mouth is a, a problem. However, I deal with shit all day. So if a couple of cuss words offend you, this world is going to tear you apart. It's time for the men to stand up and do a good job. Take your staff and follow me. Isn't that what Christ said? Come on. Come on, pup. Come on, buddy. Here, you want to trade? Come on, follow me. Come on. Come on, buddy. Sometimes you got to give a little tug. Sometimes he's going to fight you a little bit, but it's okay. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. No. Come on. You're okay, man. Good boy. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Good boy. The biggest thing right now, guys, he might he might fight this for a little bit. He's a baby. He's new. First time he's ever had this. Come on. Come on, come on, let's go, Bob. Nope. Come on, Bob. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, I know. You're not the first one. He's not being choked. Don't worry. You saw at the beginning of the video. And, and don't let, now, some puppies will, like, roll around. Be careful. Sometimes it's easier to uh, put a collar on the puppy first and let it run around with the collar on, okay? And then put a leash on that. A lot of times that's easier than these type of a chain, okay? I normally train with these because these are one of the best chains, period, in my opinion, for the show ring because they're not cumbersome. They don't get in the way. Um, it's a, and I've had this for years already, and it still does awesome. Like this thing's been Buster's main, this was Buster's main lead when he championed at seven months old. He's like two and a half now, so this is two years old. Been through a lot of dog training, okay? And this little guy is going to take a little bit of work. Now, what I've told all my owners too is once these guys leave here and come to your home, once they're out of their comfort zone, right? Then they're gonna learn really fast to what you want them to do. Just trying to keep him calm, keep him happy, okay? Soon, he's gonna figure it out. It doesn't take forever, but sometimes it takes more than 10 minutes, guys. If you, uh, well, get him out of the comfort zone. So anytime, like this is what he's used to being and playing around in every day. So if I were to take him somewhere where he has no idea where he's at, he's more likely to follow, okay? Um, I think, I don't know if it'll be in this video, but I finally broke down and got me a new, uh, some new chairs. So, yeah, you can't make fun of my holy chairs anymore. Soon I'm gonna fill in the holes in the in the yard, so you can't make fun of my holy ground anymore. And uh, yeah, <laughs> after that, we'll just keep on training. Come on, buddy. Come on, man. It's okay. Come on, dude. Come on. Okay, come on. Come on, man. Let me get Buster. Maybe you'll walk with him. Come on. Alright, I already had Buster out, so instead I got the old man out. Come here, Low. Low so. Low so. Come on, Buster. Now, Loso is 
one of my well, my first service dog I trained personally. He started getting too protective of me out in public. So he talks. He won't hurt anybody. But he'll growl. And he talks. So because of that, I had to retire him from being my service dog in public because that's not allowed. However, this dude's awesome. He is the daddy to Capone. Um, this boy is how I got my start with bullies. Uh, turn. Boy, stay. No, stay. Uh, Loso champion at 12 months old. He is a short classic. He's 17 and a half inches tall at the Withers, which is right here, guys. You stack your dog up like this, straight, Capone's hitting the camera. And then the judge would measure at this point right here, okay? If you're going higher, you're wrong. If you're going lower, you're wrong. No, stand up. Stand up. But you have to stack him up, or her, in order to figure out what class your dog is, okay? And you cannot do that. You cannot determine a dog's class in ABKC until it is 12 months old. Anything younger than that is a puppy, okay? You're not to breed a dog before 12 months old. It's a puppy. Male limit is 12 months and over. The female limit is 18 months and over. That is in the, in the ABKC Code of Ethics, which is something we try to adhere to at all times. It's for the best interest of the dog, the puppy, and everything, okay? So this is Champion Loso. He will be five this May when all the equipment that I showed you gets here. This dude will be one of the ones running, jumping, and playing on it because he's one of my most agile American bullies I have. Champion Loso uh, has been an awesome boy for me. He's done a lot for me. And he's not going to be an open stud for much longer. Like he's, I'm only going to allow him to breed for about probably another year. And then he's going to officially retire fully. Um, so, yeah. If you're interested, let me know. I'm not so here to sell you stud fees and puppies and all that. We're here to train today. I hope today's video has been of a little value. Um, come here, buddy. Come here, man. Come on, pup. You're not going to do it? All right, sir. With work, you can have your dog, that pup, any dog, do almost anything you want to, okay? Especially American Bullies, guys. They, they are going to bond to you. Like, this is my dude. He'll never go anywhere. He knows that. Like, he's my homie. Um, there are certain ones that I have that commitment with. Others, you know, yes, possibly over time. However, I do operate a breeding program as well. So that means I can't hold all dogs. That's why we have to retire and find homes for most. Um, some will stay with me forever, though. This boy was the first, and he's been pretty awesome. You want to show him your... This is... Uh, in the ring, we used to call him Champion Floso because his movement is beautiful. Watch. telling you with work you can do whatever you want guys enjoy your dogs they're like family for us if you get a puppy from us I try to do a good job um, we're getting equipment to make things easier um, and I'll constantly improve over time for as long as I choose to do this I don't breed puppies to breed puppies if I breed dogs, it's for a purpose. Um, I'm continuing certain bloodlines together. 
Um, I think they're going to be really, really nice dogs. So, <clears throat> with any puppy or dog, unless you buy a dog that is already proven, you know, as a producer or a champion or whatever in the show ring, no breeder out there, including myself, can guarantee that the puppy you buy will win in the show ring. Even though we call something show quality, um, that means, yes, it is show quality. It means it fits the standard that is set. However, you can't go into a show, especially one with a bunch of beautiful dogs, because there are now, and expect to just always sweep the show, you understand? I do think that I may get back in and do a couple shows this year, we'll see. But I have work to do before I try. Because my pups are all about like this guy right now. So, gotta get going. I hear my daughter calling. I think that's enough for me today. I hope you guys have a good day. And we'll see you soon.